Now let's take a look at painting tools in Photoshop. I've opened my document called Painting Tools from the Chapter 7 folder, and I'm going to reset my workspace to painting. Let's take a look at the workspace and look at a few things before we get started. I'm going to select my brush tool, and you'll notice, of course, our option panel or option bar at the top changes, and you also have a little icon here that comes up just to the right of where you can pick your different brush styles, your hardness, your size, and various brushes. Right next to it, that will expand the brush panel. So we can toggle the brush panel on and off, but since we're in painting mode, you can also see that we have the brush panel available over here as well. So we can get to it either way, and it's a similar icon. You'll also notice in the painting workspace, we have our swatches panel front and center, and then we have a brush preset which is similar to our pop-up menu here on the options panel. So we can make a lot of different adjustments to our brush tool. What we've mainly been doing so far is just adjusting the size of our brush and the softness or the hardness of our brush. But in this lesson, what we're going to do is we're going to paint this landscape that we have here in front of us. So we're going to need to do a little bit more than just working with our brush size and how hard or soft it's painting. If we open up our brush panel, you'll see that there are tons and tons of brushes in different styles that you can choose from. And as you select different brushes, you'll see a preview come up down in the bottom of the brush panel, which gives you a lot better idea of what it looks like. Now, keep in mind that these brush settings in the brush panel can also be applied to the pencils, the mixer brush, the clone stamp, the pattern stamp, the history brush, the art history brush, the eraser, the blur tool, the sharpen tool, the smudge tool, the dodge tool, the burn tool, and the sponge tools. So it's not just restricted to adjusting what your brush looks like, it also works on all those other tools as well. So if we can just scroll through here a little bit and take a look at the various qualities that we can create, and notice also, we can also come through here and we can modify our brush tip to be anything we want. We've got all these categories here on the left hand side, You'll notice that the one I have selected right now has the shape dynamics as part of it and smoothing. But we, of course, can come down into scattering, texture, any of these, and we can come in and make modifications and design our own brush from scratch. Let me go ahead and put that back. So you've got a lot of different categories here, and if you're into art or you have any background in art, you'll notice that a lot of the terminology transfers over into the art world as well on the names of the brushes, the styles of the brushes, and how they actually function. The visibility icon at the bottom of the brush panel will hide or show your preview there on the left hand side of your screen. Let's go ahead and hide that. Now I'm going to go back up to the top and I'm going to select brush tip shape to reset my brush panel. And you'll notice that the brush panel is broken down into three sections. We've got the settings with options, which is here at the top, where we can make any changes to our brush, any modifications to the brush tip. And then we have down here at the bottom, we've got settings without options. So if I were to like select noise or wet edges, you can see the right side of the panel is not changing, but any of the ones up here, when I select them, my panel on the right hand side changes. So those are settings with options. And then we have the preview area at the bottom that shows us what our brush will look like and clicking the brush tip shape at the top brings back up the library of brushes. In addition, if we click on the panel menu for the brush, you'll notice that we can clear the brush controls, we can reset all the locked settings, and we can create a new brush set. If we go over to our menu on the options bar, if we click on that one, you'll see our gear icon, and the gear icon will show us a variety of other brush libraries that are available and you'll also see where you can reset your brushes back to the default or you can load brushes or create new ones 